parents, today I want to show you how to complete some of the activities in Seesaw. You are going to use either your class app on your device or you will use the Seesaw website. You need your home learning code. You're going to have your child click I'm a student. Once you've clicked I'm a student, you're going to enter your text code. Or, if your device has a camera, you can just scan the code. I'm going to hit Go. Now, your child will be assigned activities through Journal or through Activities. I'm going to click on Activities, and I will see that these are the assignments my child must complete. Once they are done and I've added a response, it moves into journal once it's completed. So this is more like a to-do list. I complete it and it goes away. Let's try an activity together. Your teacher will have directions here. They may or may not have a template. I can see the image of what I'm supposed to do. So I'm going to add a response here. Now, my child has to, according to the directions, and I can view the directions here, has to write the words three times. If your teacher wants you to do it with text boxes, these are some of the features you are going to see. My text box, a microphone to record, photo or video. This three, these three buttons means shapes or background. Here I can select the color that I'm doing working in. These are my tools. This is my pencil tool and these are other markup tools. This is an eraser. Let's try the activity together. The draft button is I'm working on it and you can come back to it. So once I'm done, this is my check button. I'm not going to hit that unless your child is completely done. So let's use a text box to complete this. And the directions say to do this three times. Now, I, there's nothing that I can do right now. I'm going to click away. I see these dots come up. This is to move the text box. And I don't want that. I can move it around. I can make this smaller if I need it to fit in a smaller space. I can also stretch this out if the text is too big. These three buttons will allow me to edit that text box. Now if you look here, I can change the fonts. I can remove that box. Oh, here it is. Now I can also add a background to the box. I can format that box slightly. I can also change the justification. I can do left justified, middle, or right. I can also duplicate the text box. Go back. If I need to use that for whatever reason, I can also, if I accidentally did this, I can delete that. Now, once I'm done, actually, I want to show you one more thing. I can lock the box so it doesn't move around. And I can also bring a text box or photo to the front or to the, path, the back, depending on what my teacher wants me to do. So if you insert an image and you don't see it, it's probably because it's in the back. I'm going to bring that image to the front. So I'm done. Let's say my child has finished this assignment. I'm going to hit check. And now if I go into activities, you will see that the assignment is gone. It is now in my journal, long A. Now I want to show you how to use the pen tools. I'm in activities. Here's an assignment that requires me to add a text box as a response 
and circle unfamiliar words. So let's add a response. This is what comes up. I've read the directions already. If I need to look again, I can hit view instructions. I'm going to circle unfamiliar words. I'm going to select the pen tool, a color, and then I'm going to circle. If I make a mistake, I can use the eraser. These are other pen tools that you can use. When I'm done circling my unfamiliar words, I'm going to add a response using the text box. We already know how to use the text box. Your teacher might have you use a recorded response using the microphone. This prompts you and you record. When you're done, you hit pause. I'm going to, I'm done doing everything that I need to do. So I'm going to hit the check. Now my activity is in journal. So it moved from activities. If I go here, it's no longer there. Now, the last thing I want to show you is how to complete an activity that requires you to print a PDF. Some teachers may have this as an option. We're going to go into activities, and I see that I accidentally uploaded this twice. Now, this is going to be a little bit tricky. You need to view the original to get the PDF. If I click, Add a response, I don't see a PDF. I see these options. And that might be something your teacher wants you to do. Perhaps you want to upload a video, upload a file, a drawing, or any of these other things. I can also view the instructions again. So we're going to hit X because that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for my PDF. Now, to get this PDF, you're going to click on this image and you have a choice to view the original. Now, if you see here, I can print my PDF. And of course, I will select the options, print it, and now I'm ready to work on it. I'm gonna close this out. Now, let's say I'm done, and I've taken a photo of it, now I'm going to add the response so my teacher knows that I completed this as a PDF. I might upload it as a photo. I can take a picture with my device. Well, that's it. Let's hit X. And once you're done, you've added your response. It will go into the journal. Well, parents, I hope you found this helpful. And don't forget that you can always contact your teacher with the Seesaw Family app. You can send your teacher a message.